Normally, I resist a stir fry because there's something about stir frying that can make you frantic. But this stir fry has absolutely nothing fancy about it at all. But you know, sometimes I just want a bowl of something lovely and cosy. I start off with some cumin seeds and I'm just going to toast them. Makes all the difference. Some vegetable oil, just a little. Chopped, smoked, streaky bacon. Though of course you can use unsmoked if you prefer. I need crunch, and so that means a whole packet of bean sprouts. Some spring onions, rain in. I've left the darker end pieces to be sprinkled on top after. Garlic. You might want to take the pan off the heat when you add the garlic or any of these particular ingredients if, it, if you don't want to have to rush too much. Now, the toasted cumin seeds, to me, just make everything sing. A bit more crunch and that incredible aroma. And a few chilli flakes. Comforting doesn't mean bland. Now, in a proper stir fry, I would take this out and I would put the rice in the pan just with the oils. But actually, at home, when I'm making my supper, I do it improperly. A packet or two of microwavable long grain rice. If you've got some cooked and cooled rice in the fridge, of course, use that. Thawed avocado, frozen petit pois. My favourite little babies, Lee and Perrin, that's Worcester sauce or Worcester Shushter, we used to call it when I was a child. Still do, really. Patience required now for all of, oh, a couple of minutes. So I have some reserved tops of spring onions. I like to do a squiggle with HP sauce. This is one of those quick, dependably mood-lifting suppers that I turn to regularly and so gratefully. Bowl food, always best. Mm. And you can get this recipe, along with many others, on acardo.com.